It may come as a shock to the young in our audience to know that certain older Americans would go to some lengths to avoid a concert of the Grateful Dead. The singers we are grateful to are mostly dead, but not Rosemary Clooney, she's still singing, not Helen O'Connell or Rose Marie or Margaret Whiting. Steve Young found them all still singing, and best of all, together at last, on the same stage, Four Girls Four. One girl is swell, singing clear as any bell. Two girls doing likewise you adore. Three of us chantuzzi types plus roses, jokes, and rusty pipes are all we need to open up the store. But best of all are four girls four. They are a formidable foursome, each a star for decades. Now, for the first time, they are working together, breaking house records all over the country with their smash variety show. Together, they represent more than a century of show business experience. Rosemary Clooney. Come on to my house, my house. I'm going to give you candy. Helen O'Connell. I'm a pole. Pretty little puppy. Must copy it's a dear in charge from you. Rosemary. If there's a wrong bell, I ring it. A wrong note, I sing it. Nobody does it like me. And Margaret Whiting. There is in a stream falling leaves a sycamore. It's as if time stood still. Moonlight in Vermont. Margaret Whiting, winner of more than 10 gold records, who traveled with Bob Hope, Ski entertaining troops during the Second World War. Now she sings the old and the new. I'd like to show the world to sing in perfect harmony. I'd like to give the world some... For most of these people, it's no longer the springtime of their youth. Like many of them, Margaret Whiting is in her mid-50s, and she's been through a lot, a long trail of hits and two divorces. Gonna take a sentimental journey. It reminds them of the good things, the happy things. You know, it's living and existing and having fun and, and enjoying, and I think that this uh, show just turns everybody on because we're enjoying it so much, they enjoy it. We all entertain very well. They understand what we're saying and singing, and it brings back memories to a certain degree, and yet we also do enough things contemporary that other people, the younger people, enjoy it. A woman walks into a bar with a duck under her arm, drunk walks over to her and he says, hey, he's, where'd you get that pig? <laughs> woman says, I beg your pardon, that happens to be a duck. Drunk says, I beg your pardon, I was talking to the duck. Alan says, uh... Alan says, uh, 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 good night, folks. And remember, if you ever find yourself in hot water, take a bath. Good. Good, I like it. Rosemary scored big on the Dick Van Dyke Show in 1961 after many years as super sweet baby Rosemary. Yes, well, except we got no time for a lullaby. Yeah, we sing it like this. I'll read my baby up every time. Little ribbon still in her hair, but she sure has grown up. Do you know that they named a Jewish holiday after my sex life? <laughs> Passover. <laughs> you see? I'm very proud and honored to be on the same stage with Miss Rosemary Clooney. Clooney's popularity soared with her records, movies, television, and nightclub appearances, but she also sank to the depths of despair, drug addiction, and confinement in a mental hospital. She credits an old friend, Bing Crosby, with helping her to come back. I would not leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. Mm. An awful lot of people uh, identify with the fact that we have been working for a long time, really. At this time in women's lives, very often, their children have gone away, and uh, it can be a very lonely time for a woman because usually her husband is uh, is uh, uh, 
still involved in his work for another 15 years, perhaps. And to see uh, women starting something is, if you'll forgive me for being a, sounding a little pretentious anyway, it, it might be just a little bit inspirational. This will be my shining hour. Calm and happy and bright. Helen O'Connell in the 1960s, after touring with the Jimmy Dorsey Band in the late 30s and 40s. Wherever I go, people ask me questions about the big band era all the time. I got to tell you one thing, boy. See, if, if I had known that, that that was going to be an era, I'd have paid more attention to it. <laughs> Nobody told me. On stage, she is cool, controlled, and enchanting. It's hard to believe she's 59, the oldest of the four. Women looking at us going through things we might have gone through or did go through would call us survivors. It's I not think. a career surviving, it's us surviving. When the sun comes out, there'll be bluebirds round my door, singing like they did before. What have you found? Everything. I bought everything. Oh, what I found for you. What? Before the act was formed, they didn't know each other well. It has drawn them close together. <laughs> I got a this. She got me this. I didn't see this. I was Isn't looking. that cute? It was over there. Do you like that? <laughs> Any votes? Aye. <laughs> One critic called them a musical Mount Rushmore, but on the road, they act like a bunch of sorority sisters. <laughs> I think it's hard. It would be hard for any four people. I think this was a lucky happenstance. It's a chemistry. Uh, yeah. We had it on the Van Dyke show, and that was men and women. You have it with certain people. Four of the women... Uh, might be able to do it. I don't know. Uh, this happens to be a perfect chemistry. What would you like to see come of this? Do you want to continue this show on the road? Do you uh, want to take it to Broadway? Uh, do you want to see it wind up on TV? Everything. All I those think. things. We can prove that there's no such thing as a middle age crisis, at least yeah. for the four of us. That's right. <laughs> Richard Threlkeld's cover story is on American Catholics and the Polish Pope, just ahead on Sunday morning.